You should learn about syndicated radio. Oh, you should oh, learn oh, that you oh, have the time oh. to go downstairs. Okay, uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, can we go back to Skiri's internal monologue or lack thereof? I still find this so fascinating. The fact that you don't have a little voice in your head? Yeah. Like, so, what's your... Okay, uh, Danielle, what's your little voice saying right now? Right now, it's saying, oh my gosh, how are you going to handle your son leaving oh. for college <laughs> later today? That's what my little voice is saying. Gandhi, what's your little voice saying? <laughs> there are many little voices. One is telling me I really have to pee. Another one is trying to plot out how I get a picture with a guest who's coming in here <laughs> before the interview happens. Okay. And then the other one is trying to figure out how I'm getting home today because both of my rides are busy. <laughs> So you have three voices. All happening. There's probably more, but those are the three that are the loudest okay. right now. Is Scotty, what's your little voice saying? My little voice is wondering why I have to go to the bathroom now because it's a little earlier than usual. Oh, there's a problem uh... with the bathroom. I've never seen this happen at the men's bathroom. They put up a sign that says, men's bathroom temporarily closed. There's a leak in there. Oh, there's oh, a Oh, yeah. no. Tenth floor, baby. <laughs> What's on the 10th floor? You've never been to the bathrooms on the 10th floor? No. Oh, it's my God, they're so private oh, and glorious. Yeah. Yeah. You just joined us. Uh, tell Scotty where the bathrooms on the 10th floor are. Oh, okay, so you get out of the elevator. Come Sorry. Here. Yeah, there's microphones. Is it the Hi. one that looks like it doesn't really belong in this building? Uh, this, okay. So Multiples. The, yeah, so there, it, yeah, there's multiple up there. It's great. Um, they have men and women's room that are always empty, but then they also have just the private stall. And I've been told the private like, stall. Yes, the it's just it's a luxurious. solo stall. I actually know it's someone else's radio shows here. One of the big wigs, they, Ryan Seacrest. No, uh, think on that level. Mario they installed Lopez. their own private <laughs> Mario bathroom, Lopez? and I use it every morning. And I'm so sorry. Yes, for defiling Andrew. It. Wow. <laughs> and can we talk about what a little weasel Andrew is? This morning yes. I told you guys. When I have to pee, like until I get the stent taken out, I have to pee. So I was waiting to go up to the tenth floor and pee. Andrew gets out of the elevator and starts blocking me. He Andrew. almost got peed on. Well, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I thought it was a funny joke. And uh -huh. that, uh, by the way, at that same moment, I said, "So why are you going up to the tenth floor?" And she said, "None of your business." You could have been a nice friend and say, "There are private stalls on the tenth floor." I thought you guys all knew. I, I had, had no, no idea. Clue. What? You, you, I've but, been but, on this commission for a while. I've been telling everybody. Anybody? Wait, am I gonna? We can use Mario Lopez's bathroom. It's not Mario Lopez's. <laughs> oh, it's it's no. by the way, it's the oh. premier syndication floor. It's and it's it's, it's our floor. It belongs. Belongs to iHeart, right? And and that time in the morning, nobody's up there. You can stay in as long oh, as you I want. Oh, I'm so excited to visit that this next time. This is the new three, two, four, two. Oh, but Scary's never going to be able to make it. He's tied to no. the studio. I'll pull a ten. Too on far. You. It's too far. <laughs> Wait, it is. Kinda, I gotta pull a ten. Far. <laughs> yeah. Is that we're gonna coin the phrase? I gotta pull a ten. See, like, Scotty and I sort of have the advantage here because we get here so early. I get here. Pr Let me tell you something. I don't have to be in my studio until five twenty. I get in at five o'clock because I know that's my time. Yep. Like if I'm late and I don't get here until five twenty, then I'm in trouble. But I don't know what do I want. If you're here at five o'clock, where do you go straight to the bathroom? Okay. Yes. Okay. So yep. Many, I put my stuff down in my studio, right to the bathroom. So yep. many things floating around here. It has, uh, that, that, if you could hear, all of a sudden you hear in the background. It's Andrew popping the balloons that have died <laughs> behind us. Suck the helium. I don't know. I guess the cameras can get you. Look yeah. He's, Doing he's a sprucing up the Take place. Take a step and forward, Andrew. Right Take a step forward. Suck the helium. Yeah, there you go. Stand right between me and Danielle. And Oh, well, <laughs> you, you grab the balloon. <laughs> grab the balloon Andrew, and squeeze the balloon. what are you doing? There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's like right. the 10th there floor. Hey, some more balloons? stuff right there. <laughs> okay, so back to the many things we're discussing. You have a grievance against Scotty since we're talking yes. to Scotty? What I did I do now? I have a grievance against him. My grievance against you is I, today when I got the coffee that Scary stole yours, oh, wait, Gandhi, wait, not yes. to start drama. Can you wave the, the scissors around like yeah, that when please. you're talking? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I went to go get the coffee. They only had two trays, so it was like the two per coffee. There were six coffees total. I text Scotty in advance, which I never do. I say, hey, send someone down, or could someone help me bring the coffee up? You know I would, but I'm tied to the board. He okay. couldn't tell someone to help you? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Wow, you, why couldn't you pass Scotty. the message on? Well, you know that I couldn't do it. Why didn't you, you text somebody that? Don't you... lie about any of it. Wow. What? You look at the bathroom all the time and go, ugh. Oh, can't go. Someone's in there. But so you have enough time. I'm just asking you to go down and help me with six coffees that I'm carrying by my damn self. At this particular moment, it was 6.40. Okay. We have a break at 6.43. Okay. I can't walk away. Okay. <laughs> have a nice day. What? I'm done. You should learn about syndicated radio. Oh. You should learn that you have the time to go down.
downstairs. Don't Damn. act like that's the most important thing. You try and look at the bathroom all the time to know when it's the right time for you to go. Not to when two. they're about to go to a break, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always about to go on break? This because is... you do this all the time. You go, I would help, but... All right, you know what? Here, he okay. Do that a lot. Everybody in the room, listen right now. Next time Andrew asks for help with something, I'm just gonna go do it. If the show goes off the air, that's the excuse, and oh I don't want to get in trouble. This is like that YouTube clip where the crusty anchor and the crusty reporter are yeah. yelling yeah. at each other. I used to be your boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did that work out <laughs> for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, now I'm <laughs> Isn't there like a simple solution? Like if he texts Scotty and Scotty can't do it, you're sitting next to interns. He, you can't uh, tell someone else to go help I don't think him? you're allowed to ask interns to do things. Yes, to you help? can. Yes, you they're, can. Getting paid, they're getting paid now. You can ask them to do stuff like Dude, that. Dude, when I was an intern, the shit I got asked I know. to do, get yeah. my laundry. I get yeah. through this. I'm like, what? Times right. have changed. Yeah. I'll say, we don't have that. When we we got abused, well, we didn't really get abused, but we, <laughs> it, was a back real fast. it was a different time <laughs> yeah. 25, 30 years ago yeah. when we were interning. Yeah. We sure. didn't, you know. I think you can legally say it. It was a different company back then. It was a different company. It wasn't this company. And they get paid now. So you can technically ask them if you need them to go down and get something for you. Man, when I was an intern, I, mean, I don't even want to talk about it, but I mean, mm -hmm. there'd be jail involved now. Yeah, for my, sure. <laughs> my first day <laughs> is Jail or jail? Jail. Oh, okay. <laughs> my first day too, okay. as an unpaid 18-year-old intern, yeah. I was on a cell phone. I had to go to a convenience store, take my shirt off, and sing Kenny Rogers the Gambler oh, deesh, while on deesh. the air with the morning show. Would that shit fly with one no. of our interns no. today? Not anymore. No. Do you I think still I know that song? On a warm summer's <laughs> evening, <laughs> on a train bound to nowhere. Woo! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I still remember it. But yeah, vivid. It's you know we, that shit would not fly at all. At no. all. When I was yeah, an no. intern, and I think I told you guys this before, maybe they there's a big golf tournament in Columbus called the Muirfield Tournament. So all of the golfers, like the big big golfers, come through. And at the time, VJ Singh was one of them, and they made me get dressed up like I was a golf daughter <laughs> <laughs> and go to this place called the Bogey Inn and hype everybody up that my dad was coming because Indian guy. Indian looking guy Indian person and start chanting VJ VJ and I just ran away and left them all there chanting it was terrible I don't think we can oh do that to God, interns no. now right no. I just yeah. remember them throwing money, like cash at me and it falling all over the floor and then I'm like go pick up pick whatever it, up. it was it was either go pick up my dry cleaning or go pick up my uh, you know the food downstairs I was like Jesus what the I yeah. used to also yeah. work for a guy he would take his coffee and as he was walking out of the studio he would just put it down in front of me he wouldn't even ask me to heat it up he just would put it there and oh I had to go heat it up. So and when crazy. I finally got hired and I was actually getting paid and he did it, after like three months, I finally said, dude, I would like to not heat up your coffee anymore. Yeah. I am the executive producer of the show now. If we could just, you know, <laughs> wow. find someone else to do it, that'd be great. He was like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. He was nice about, about it. About damn yeah. time. I know. <laughs> I remember having to walk up and down aisles of the supermarket dressed as a haagen ice cream pint. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was massive. Like I mean, it was. I would but you enjoyed that a little. <laughs> Only because I got the coupons. I didn't give them all away. You cheap bastard. Yeah. You kept yeah. the coupons. I think my most embarrassing moment as an intern was when you know the, the old lady mall walkers. And yeah. The <laughs> so they sent me to the Mill Creek Mall in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I had to dress up as an old woman. So I had to get like the kitty cat sweater and the sweatpants and the New Balance sneakers. They gave me a wig and put Please old pictures. lady makeup. There's pictures somewhere. And I I was walking around the mall and people were looking at me because here's this six foot tall grandmother oh my gosh. striding around the so mall. And then they made broad me go, shoulders. go into Great the ladies too. room and there was a woman in there grunting one out. Oh, and geez. I'm like, they're like, what's happening? And then there was a knock on the door and it's like, security, who's in here? I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get arrested. And I got chewed out by the mall cop. Of course. <laughs> Paul, Paul Blart. Paul Blart, yeah. Paul Blart, the mall <laughs> cop, chewed me out for being, I don't know, a transvestite. In oh, the, my the, goodness. It was awful. But what? yeah, that that shit wouldn't happen today. No you way. Couldn't do that. You would be able to get away with doing that in the bathroom now, though, because <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know what? I wonder if you. I mean, if you're if the interns are being paid now, then technically they're kind of like employees. They are. Yeah. So if if it is a fun bit for the for the air, and they agree to it, then maybe you can send them as an old lady at, to the mall. Yeah. I think it's a totally different ball game now that they're getting paid. Yeah. I think that we can have them do more. Yeah, well, you than can. We, and and they should want to do more because you want to stand out and you want to yeah. you know be the next big thing. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be degraded, but I mean, no, I, sure. I wouldn't mind dressing up as an old lady at the no. moment. You know? Any publicity <laughs> is good publicity, they say. 
Uh, I don't well, know. I don't, believe don't you want to stand out? Just do yeah. something outrageous? No. Not Maybe for something terrible. Right. Not, not for like shitting a plane. Right. <laughs> exactly. No. Okay. Well, you but look, think about what we do. Like, we can't exactly go run to get food or run to get coffee because we're right. on the air. Right. right. Them doing that enables us to do our right, job, exactly. which is always the way and, I look. But at I it. always feel guilty. Like, I always feel like, hey, I, like if I leave my phone in my car so often, and then I can't go back to the car lot to get it, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I hate to ask you to do this. I feel so guilty but asking anybody to yeah. do it. But there's nothing you can do about it. You, you know. Yeah. What if, What if the place that you were interning for? Oh was having a meeting per se per se and they put you up in a hotel and when you got to said hotel it was an hourly hotel that had vines hanging from the ceiling because it was the jungle room but that was the only room that was left available and you had to share it with the person you were interning for oh. would that happen today was Nate shirtless singing Kenny Rogers <laughs> or? absolutely not oh. That sounds uh, so sketchy. I love yeah, it. I, don't I just, know. I'm just, th- that's just hypothetical. That sounds like my apartment. <laughs> yeah, sure, Scotty. <laughs> the jungle room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, Scotty. Should we end now? I think we Is should. That it? We've gone too far. Okay. Right. And what we, were we originally gonna? Scary. Oh, what are you thinking about? Yeah, exactly. oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. wait, Nate. Tell us. Tell everybody your revelation about Scary's lack oh, of inner my, monologue. So, if you know Scary as we've known Dialogue. him for a long time, when he starts talking to you about some idea he has. He literally just had that idea. I'm developing the idea as I speak about it because because I haven't thought about it in advance. It's like he's doing right now. (laughs) Normally when you say something, you've had the time to think it over in your brain about how you're going to say it. Skiri does that live and in person because he has no thoughts in his brain. I I would love to see him on Shark Tank. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I, and, 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 you know, just to, to, I mean, I guess we never even got into it, which is fine. It was a boring topic. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) But I, I really don't, I don't have any thoughts in my head. While, while all of you guys have racing minds 24 7, I really don't think about much. I really don't. Who would have thought Scary would be closest to Zen of everybody here? Seriously. Right. Yeah. Seriously. Did you see all the texts coming in of people like, how do I do that? Scary, you right. should teach a class. I don't know. I mean, see, he can't. He has no thoughts. I don't know. He's thinking Give him about a minute. It. He's Give him a minute. Class. Trying to think about something. The best is hearing him talk out loud to himself yeah. about whatever it is that he's doing at the moment. I'm like, oh, here it goes. Because he has no internal yeah. voice. He has to externalize. Speak it into existence. All right, well, I'm going to try and think before I speak. <laughs> I see how that goes. Mm. I wish well, you But well. you've made a living out of not doing that. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> Just being in the moment. Yeah. Spontaneous. Uh, oh, here yeah. comes here comes Andrew. What happened? Nothing. No, Scotty ragged on you some more. No, oh, I didn't. Not surprising. He has nothing better to do with it. <laughs> uh, okay. On that note, I thought this was a great podcast. Yeah. Good yeah. Yeah. Everybody yes. Solid. Good one. All right. You got it. it. Nice to see oh, you guys. Yeah. Yes. Good to be back. It's good. We should do podcasts every day. I think we should. You should okay. think before you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that now. That just came out. Start right now. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>